There are hundreds of add-ons in Dead by Daylight. That's a lot. So instead of just choosing random ones at the last possible second because you realize you didn't have any equipped and the match is about to start, let's put some thought into them and do the thing that games are made for, to have fun. Keep in mind that these add-ons won't necessarily be the absolute best or even the strongest. They're just ones that make the game more fun and quite a few let you play in a different way than you usually would. Iridescent Stone is one of Trapper's most powerful add-ons because it resets a random disarmed bear trap every 30 seconds. If we pair that with Bloody Coil, the add-on that injures healthy survivors when they disarm a trap, we could try to have them all stay injured. It's important to play 4D chess with these two because you'll want to spend a good bit of time setting up traps, especially the ones that spawn in the most obvious of places. Boom. It could get a bit difficult later on to keep track of those because Eerie Stone will open them up and you won't know from a distance if you set that one up yet or not. I'm okay with survivors getting two gens if it means I get a strong trap setup going. Wraith. If you want to be an absolute sneaky sneak, Coxcomb, Clapper, and Ghost Suit are the way to go. The Clapper silences your bell while Ghost Suit suppresses your terror radius and red stain for 6 seconds after uncloaking. This means that you'll be able to sneak up to someone by going around a corner, uncloaking, and going for the hit. That, plus the uncloak speed boost burst you get is a perfect recipe for a jump scare hit. Or maybe even a surprise yoink. The chainsaw is Billy's biggest strength, so both of his engraving perks let us get the most use out of it. Combined, they increase his movement speed during a chainsaw sprint by a whopping 35%. They also reduce the heat gain from charging up by 28%. That's important here because while the charge time of the chainsaw is increased by 24%, it's worth it to be able to feather it so much and hold off an attack for that perfect moment. Nurse is not fast. In fact, aside from my rando teammate taking their time to come get me, she's the slowest character in the game. If you want to change that, bringing in Matchbox will increase her movement speed to 4.4 meters a second. However, it'll also always restrict you to only one blink. But not so fast. That's exactly what we want, because we're bringing in Jenner's last breath. When that one blink is used, before becoming fatigued, you can blink back to your original position and get an extra blink. This combo could really shake up chases because 1. Most survivors will be taken off guard by you actually running or rather floating after them and two it gives you a second chance if you mess up your first blink or if a survivor turns back Myers is notorious for his unique stalking ability that lets him level up to be able to instantly down and even kill survivors but what if we just want to stalk out of the way you Scratch Mirror reveals auras within 32 meters while doing just that. We'll also be stuck at evil within one, so that means we'll be undetectable the entire match. That also means that we'll have a reduced movement speed of 4.2 meters a second, and a reduced lunge attack open time of 0.2 seconds, which decreases our attack range. To help balance out lunges, Boyfriend's Mambo increases the lunge attack range by 50% while in evil within one. Hag's specialty is getting the jump on people with her traps. If you want to focus on the element of surprise, Rusty Shackles is the way to go. Trip traps don't spawn a mud phantasm, and they don't give any indication to survivors that they've been tripped. So if they're not looking, you could teleport and get a hit before they even realize what happened. Bringing that along with Mint Rag will also give you added mobility since it lets you teleport to any untripped trap. When using these two, it'd be best to try to hide the traps as best as you can. Remember that they have a big detection radius, so take advantage of that to keep survivors on their toes. One of the best parts about playing Doctor is constantly hearing. So if you want more of that, Carter's Order reduces the Static Blast cooldown duration by 6 seconds. It also creates a random new illusionary pallet every 20 seconds where a pallet was broken. That's good for giving survivors a glimmer of hope that they'll be able to get away from a chase. With all that shocking going on, Carter's Restraint will come in handy. When a survivor's madness increases, their aura is revealed for 3 seconds. The illusionary doctor's duration is also increased by 6 seconds. Huntress. If you love yeeting hatches, you'll love Rose Root and Yellowed Cloth. Together, they increase increase a hatchet's flight speed by 30%. That clocks in at a maximum speed of 52 meters a second. The same goes for Bubba as it did for Billy. That chainsaw is his greatest strength, so we gotta get the most out of it. Chili and award-winning Chili together increase the duration of Chainsaw Dash and the Chainsaw Dash window by 0.5 seconds. This gives you just enough extra time to get a better chance at getting that hit. Freddy is at his strongest within the dream world, but sometimes there'll be that one pesky survivor that had a shot of G Fuel and just won't go to sleep. That's where Pill Bottle comes in so you can get an upper hand on them. The distance at which awake survivors see Freddy intermittent 
finally, is reduced to 12 to 24 meters. He's also completely invisible to them when they're further away from 24 meters and when he's carrying a survivor. That's all good and fine, but if they complete the last gen, Freddy's teleportation powers are gone. Bringing in Black Box can help give you an endgame advantage since it blocks recently opened exit gates for 15 seconds for any survivor still stuck in the dream world. Just don't ask what's in the box. Pig. What better way to let survivors know right off the bat that you're against stereotypes than by using videotape, causing them to start the trial with a trap on. That'll also split their focus between working on gens and trying to get their traps off early on. So. Let's make it a bit harder to do that. Rule set number two disables their ability to see the auras of jigsaw boxes until their trap is activated. So once that first gen pops, watch them scramble and hunt them down. If you play clown and you sleep on his speed potential, then you, my friend, are the real clown here. Invigorating yourself with an antidote before kicking something is an absolute must if you want to get around quickly. Bringing in Garish makeup kit will increase invigoration by two whole seconds. But with all those bottles being broken and littered around, you'll eventually run out. That's why, and I can't believe this is a sentence that I thought I'd ever say, but that's why you need smelly inner souls. It increases your movement speed while reloading by 66%, going from one 1.61 meters a second to a maximum 3.45 meters a second if you're smart and invigorated yourself before reloading. Spirit's good for chasing after people, but sometimes you just need an extra boost. Senko Hanabi makes it so that, upon ending a face walk, the husk will explode and block vault locations within 4 meters for 5 seconds. Couple that with Katana Suba to increase your reappearance duration after a face walk by 0.2 seconds. The reappearance duration refers to how long after exiting a face walk that you'll hold your increased movement speed, which is also increased by 5%. These two work together really well to ensure that you'll be able to cut someone off at a strong loop. When you're getting your cardio in, while simultaneously letting out all of your teen angst, you need some good music to go along with it. Music such as Fuming Mixtape. Not only do you get some sick bars from the entity itself, but you also see the repair progression of generators through the intensity of their auras during Feral Frenzy. If that's not good enough for you, generators that aren't being repaired also start regressing during this time. Keep this going by bringing in Mischief List, which extends Frenzy by 2 seconds. Plague. If you want to puke on people as fast as possible, I've got good news for you, you absolute sicko. Healing Salve and Potent Tincture together reduces the cooldown time of your vomit by 0.65 seconds. This also surprisingly means that you'll be able to bring out your weapon faster since the idle time after throwing up is shortened. To best utilize Ghostface, you have to be patient and strike at the right moment. Drop like Knife Sheath gives you 10% haste for 5 seconds after marking a survivor, so you could do just that. If you also bring along Olsen's address book, you could see the Mark's aura for 5 seconds after they rush somewhere. This really helps bring them down before they could get too far. Demogorgon. Getting a good shred attack is one of the most satisfying moments in the game, at least for everyone that's still able to experience that. If you want to keep the hug attacks going, Barb's Glasses reduces the shred cooldown after breaking a wall or pallet by 15%. Blackheart reduces the shred cooldown after a successful shred attack by 15%. Oni's Blood Fury gives you the chance to noom around quickly, but what if you want to use that time more effectively? That's where Akito's Crutch comes in, increasing your movement speed during Demon Dash by 1 meter a second. Using Lion Fang with it increases the duration of Blood Fury by 10 seconds, giving you plenty of time and speed to get some damage done. Deathslinger. Make survivors heed their last jaw with one of my personal favorite add-ons in general, Iridescent Coin. Spearing a survivor from at least 12 meters away makes them exposed while they remain speared. Use that with Prison Chain to increase the time required for speared survivors to break free by 10%. There is no better feeling as Deathslinger than getting a solid shot at a teabagging survivor at gate and reeling them in, knowing that their arrogance has cost them greatly. <laughs> Pyramid Head. Getting a ranged attack can be a bit tricky sometimes, especially when the line of sight is broken, so you have to make an educated guess on where they're going. Wax Doll and Burning Man painting should help with that. Together, they increase the attack range from 8 meters to 10.5 meters. Blight has so many good add-ons that if you randomly choose two, you'll most likely be more than fine. But a useful combo is Pustula Dust and Rose Tonic. Together, they increase the slam duration from 1.25 seconds to 3 seconds. This lets you take your time to get eyes on where your target went so you can go and chase after them. 
twins. As one of the dozens of twin players out there, you're welcome. I know how fun Victor can be to control, but the little man is just too loud sometimes. That's where Cat's Eye comes in handy. Fully charging and holding a pounce allows him to move silently. They won't know what hit him when you turn a corner and they get a surprise piggyback ride. Pair that with Forest Stew to get Victor's movement speed increased by 0.6 meters a second so you could get to a pouncing spot faster. Aiming with Trickster can be a bit tricky. To get as much use out of his blades, bring in Edge of Revival album. It makes blade shatter when hitting something, dealing 50% laceration to any nearby survivors. Now say you're chasing someone and another survivor gets in between you two to take some hits. The power of friendship isn't going to save the day this time, not when you bring the cut through you single. Your blades pierce through survivors, giving 50% laceration to the ones in front of the first one. Nemesis zombies are always either slacking off on the job or employees of the month, no in between. You can encourage them to work harder, not by paying them more, but with Mikhail's eye and depleted ink ribbon. Their movement speed is increased by 0.4 meters a second and it reduces the time it takes to respawn by 5 seconds. The cherry on top is that once all 5 generators are completed, a destroyed zombie respawns in an exit gate area, giving a zombie their last chance to impress you and earn that raise. Pinhead. Say you're a survivor and you're going up against Pinhead. He uses his power to chain you, but he's far away. No biggie. He'll just use this conveniently placed tree to break free from the chains, but oh no! Now another chain has you, and Pinhead is about to say the line. That's all because of Impaling Wire, which summons an additional chain if a survivor uses the environment to break a chain. Even if they manage to get away, not to worry. Greasy Black Lens reveals their aura for 6 seconds. Artist. If you want to use your crows to their full potential, Severed Hands is the way to go. Any survivor within 3 meters of another survivor that is being swarmed by dire crows will also be swarmed. This works really well if you know multiple people are working on a generator. You could then really get the upper hand with Silver Bell, which causes swarm survivors to become oblivious, letting you sneak up on them. Sadako isn't a good looper, so we have to do what we can with her. Rico's watch increases the invisibility duration while demanifested by 50%. This works best when you loop around obstructed objects when her hands disappear. Well water will help with that since it increases the duration of undetectable by 2 seconds when manifesting. Dredge's teleport, especially during nightfall, is the ultimate transportation tool. We want more of that. Bringing in destroyed pillow will reduce the cooldown duration of your teleport by 2.5 seconds during nightfall. To get even more value out of that, broken doll will increase the duration of nightfall by 20 seconds. If you're Wesker, you're gonna want to Wesk as much as possible. Once a survivor becomes critically infected, Uroboros virus reveals their aura for 4 seconds. Additionally, Dark Sunglasses lets you become undetectable for 20 seconds when that happens. They won't know what to do when you come out of nowhere and shout, it's Wesk in time. Night. Sometimes the real paradise is the friends we made along the way. But keep this between us, maybe we like one of our friends a bit more than the rest. That friend here is the Jailer, because with lightweight griefs, you get a 10% increased movement speed for the 6 seconds after he's summoned. We like him so much that we're also bringing in Cold Steel Manacles so that he appears twice in a row when cycling summons. Skull Merchant. If you want to effectively track down and hunt, advanced movement prediction is what you need. It reveals survivor auras for 6 seconds after they enter a drone's active area. Attach a long-sided prototype rotor and you'll be granted a 5% haste boost if you go inside a drone's active area that was activated by a survivor. Good for closing a chase sooner and increasing the chances of sensually touching their arm. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and that you try out something new and actually have fun with it. If there's any add-on combo you like or if you have any ideas for which perk builds to bring in with these combos, please share with us down in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next one.